Good morning, friends and family. Been some time. Hebrews 9, 27, 28. Just as people are destined to die once and after that to face judgment, so Christ was sacrificed once to take away the sins of many and will appear a second time, not to bear sin, but to bring salvation to those who are waiting on him. I bring this up this morning. I, I really want to focus that first part is, you know, avoid the die said before that we all have an expiration date and this has all been brought up because at work yesterday there was a accident um a car accident i wasn't involved thankfully thank god um and uh, the road had been closed quite almost all day so usually when a road is closed after a motor vehicle accident it's it's considered a fatality they come out they do the investigation um that's not the part i want to focus on all day long it haunted me, and and I'll tell you what haunted me. What haunted me was, who was that person? Who was that person? Uh, you know, did they get up that morning thinking or knowing that their expiration date was less than a couple hours away? Um, I, I got to thinking about, you know, uh, what was going through their mind when they got off the exit right before the accident? You know, were they looking forward to a special event? Were they looking forward to a dinner with a loved one? Were they looking forward to getting to work? Or, you know, were they were they, were they going to get a promotion? Um, or did they leave the house angry, upset? Did they eat breakfast? Did they skip breakfast while they on their way to the doctors? So all these things sound, sound strange and silly, you know. But I really, 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 really started to think yesterday just how fragile our lives are. Just how we just don't know. You know, and we and 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 you know that the scripture is so important that you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared, be prepared for, you know, your time. We we are not guaranteed or promised the next minute, the tomorrow, or the next minute for that for that matter. And I and I just I I can't imagine, you know, the family receiving that phone call. You know, the person that you know that was involved in the accident. That, you know. Were they in good standing with all their family members? Was there unfinished business? Was there a dream that they never got to live? Or was there something they never, they never got to fulfill? You know, uh, I mean, these are all really good. Like this morning, you know, you're going to get up out of bed. And you're going to go out the door, you know, and you're going to be like every other person. You're going to be in a rush to get to work. You're going to be thinking about what you got to do when you get to work. You're going to be thinking about, you know, did I eat breakfast? Did, should I skip breakfast? You know, do I have a doctor's appointment later? You know, do I got to meet my, my significant other somewhere? Or, you know, my kid's doing really well in school. And, and you know, where I got to get my kid to school. And, and all of these things that we deal with every single day, we take, we really do. We really take, I do it. I mean, I'm guilty of it. I take it for granted, you know. We just don't think. And, and I guess that's good. And it's not good. And I, it's good. It's good. It's, good because if you did think about it every single day you'd probably make yourself crazy I, I guess the point to all of this is is for us to be sure because we're all pointed to die we're all going to have an expiration date and then once we reach that expiration date the physical body's going to pass and our spirit and soul are going to leave this body and it's got to go somewhere you know and we're going to be standing we're going to going to be standing before the, before god and Almighty God, who created us and created this world, we will be standing before Him. That's a guarantee. There's no way around it. Death is a guarantee. There's no way around that. So today, I just want you to take five tickets. I know we're busy. I know you got, you're in a run. I know you got things to do. Everybody's got things to do. But before you go out that door, before you go out that door, you know, if you got unfinished business with God, you need to talk to Him and make sure that your heart is right. Make sure that you know Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior before you walk out that door. I, I just like I said that that person in that accident yesterday, I mean, haunted me. It really, they really did, you know, and, and and not intentionally, but it really puts things into perspective. It really puts things into perspective, and and you know, and 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 on the living side of things, then we do make sure that you're you're right with Christ before you go out the door and before you go into the world. But also, if you have unfinished business with people, you don't want to leave this planet with grudges, with unforgiveness, with with uh, depression, rejection, fear. You know, regrets. You know, if there's something you want to do today that you've never done it before, then but you know, by all means, go at it. Go at it because you only get one chance. You don't want to be, you know, that that person. You, you don't know when you're going to be that individual individual and you don't know when you're going to hit your expiration date so the life that you've been given the breath in your lungs everything that you've been given is a gift and we got to treat it as such 
You know, we get out of bed, we're complaining, we're mad, we're angry, we're moaning, we're groaning, we're hollering and screaming. What does that accomplish? That accomplishes nothing but makes us miserable. So take just take two minutes, three minutes. You know, if it's something you don't do normally, stop. Take five minutes. Talk to God. Say, hey, thank you. Say thank you, first of all, most importantly, thank you that you gave me a night's rest. Thank you that I, because there's people that don't get night's rest, and there's people who don't get opportunities like we have right now. You looking at this phone, listening to me yap, is a blessing. It's a blessing, and, and it's a gift. It's a gift from God that I've been given, that I can talk to you, but I can breathe, that I can go out the door. And, you know, we all have something we're going to face. We're all going to have struggles, but talk to God this morning. Make sure your heart is right. You just never know when your time is going to come. You know, live right. Try to live right. Try to live good. Try to be kind. Try to be caring and loving towards other people. Um, don't accept evil. I'm not saying accept evil. I'm not saying, you know, if, if you need to stand up, you stand up. I'm not saying, but I'm saying that I don't want to get off track, but take some time this morning and, and, and just be grateful for what you got and what you have and, and make sure your heart is right before God. Before you go out the door, you know, and I mean, some people don't even get out the door. You know, but you might not have to, you know, some people might just wake up and fall down and, and that'd be it. So we're not promised the next minute. So be encouraged today. Know that God loves you very much. And if you have any unfinished business with God, make sure you follow through and, and, and make sure you get that business done. All right. You have a wonderful day. Be blessed.